Today is St George's Day and we thought we would bring you a little bit of information about St George as he relates to Bradford Cathedral and where he's seen in various windows. St George was chosen as England's patron saint in 1350 by King Edward III. He was admired for his bravery and was particularly popular amongst European knights and soldiers. In Bradford Cathedral you can see um, a stained glass image of St George and also there is a sculpture as well in various locations around the cathedral. The main representation of St George is in the part of the cathedral called the listening room. So it's not something that you would normally see as you walk around the cathedral. The listening room is located next to the Peace Chapel and if there is a member of staff around next time you come and visit you can ask and somebody will show you into the listening room to see the patron saints window which has all four of the patron saints of England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland on it. So St George is there with his shield and also in the upper window you will see a representation of St George in his armour defeating the dragon. There is also a bronze sculpture in the cathedral, which is at the back of the cathedral near to the hatch. It's on the top of the World War I memorial. And there you will find a small bronze uh, sculpture of St George done by the local artist sculptor, Ernest Sitchell. There is also a representation of St George in the magnificent World War I window by the north door as you come into the cathedral on the right hand side. And in that window, above the main image in the stained glass window, there are six upper lights um, and the fourth one along is a representation of St George. Those upper um, lights contain the patron saints of the countries who uh, were the allies of England in World War I. George is said to have been born of a noble Cappadocian family at Lydda in Palestine. He is known for his knightly courtesy and his tremendous courage. It is believed that he was a soldier who lived during the time of the Diocletian persecution of Christians. He left the army to champion the rights of the Christians and gave away his possessions and freed his slaves so that he could live simply. In pleading the Christian cause, he himself was seen to be a Christian. He was ordered to sacrifice, refused to betray Christ, was tortured and beheaded. Known in England since at least the time of Bede, George became popular here during the Crusades as the protector of soldiers and sailors. He reputedly slew a dragon, symbol of evil, preying on the innocent and defenceless. In our patron saint's window, St George is shown in a window which is bordered by crowns, red and white roses and leaves. He is shown in armour with a banner, the top panel represents the legendary slaying of the dragon whilst a captive girl looks on. The shield has the red cross of St George on a white ground. As I mentioned, St George is also a patron saint in a number of other countries around the world, including Georgia, Ethiopia, Greece, Russia and Portugal. So now, from Bradford Cathedral's music department, a very special version of what was voted the Songs of Praise, UK's favourite hymn, Jerusalem. Thank you. 
Tradition has it that George was a Palestinian soldier working in the Roman army uh, towards the end of the third and beginning of the fourth century. He was part of the personal guard for the emperor. Unfortunately, the emperor at that time was Diocletian, who was one of the worst persecutors of Christians. At one particular point, we're told Diocletian required all Christians uh, to sacrifice to the gods. Of course, the emperor himself would have been seen as a god. And when Christians refused to obey his order, they were executed. George not only refused to obey that order, but went into the presence of Diocletian and laid down his weapons and refused to fight. As a committed Christian, he was therefore executed and became a martyr, hence the white flag with the red cross on it. God of hosts, who so kindled the flame of love in the heart of your servant George, that he bore witness to the risen Lord by his life and by his death. Give us the same faith and power of love that we who rejoice in his triumphs may come to share with him the fullness of the resurrection through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen.